action continues here as we go into the Formula A B final and we ride with John Welch who's had an absolutely disastrous qualifying session here this afternoon that put him down into the B final a race which he will want to win and that will take him into the A final from there he will hope to proceed to the super final but it's all down onto what he can do in this one time is not important in this race it's purely a question of being first past the flag because the winner goes up into the A final these are the supercars the four-wheel drive supercars and it is the John Welch four-wheel drive extract transmission Astra that comes through Langley's Gap first. John with a very clear view of what's going on. No vision problems here this afternoon in these dry conditions. There is the much improved turbo VW Beetle of Norwich farmer Peter Harold. Peter there in second place. Not getting, uh, allowing John to get too far away. Peter Brown close in behind with his home brewed four-wheel drive Escort and they in turn ahead of Jeremy Crush. And Peter Harold, I think, must be really uh, cursing his luck here because he wouldn't normally expect to find John Welch in a B final. Uh, a little bit unfortunate for him, don't you think, Alan? I think so. In fact, John Welch, as you say, a very poor time in qualifying. Uh, now he has to win this B final to qualify for the A final to get amongst the points for yeah. the championship. Yeah, that's it, yeah. Well, he'll score points in the B final, but obviously he'll score more in the A final. And of course, remember, the super final points are completely separate from the Formula A points, and the overall champion this year comes from points amassed in the super final. So that's where John is really aiming for. I think he's playing it gently here. He's he's conserving the car, Alan, wouldn't you think? Car with the iconic problems he's had in the past, uh, round one and this round as well, he's got really to look at conserving the car for the next six or seven rounds. Yeah, and of course, that's allowing uh, Peter Harrell to stay respectively close to him, although that's that take nothing away from Peter Harrell, who's been driving VW Beetles now since the mid-1960s, never driven anything else, and it's good to see him here, but uh, no doubt about who was going to win this race, right from the word go, providing the car held together, and this time it seems that it does, and John Welch, twice the British champion, comes away up to the top of Paddock Turn and down what is known as Tumble Downhill, and that unfortunately has lived up to its name for quite a few drivers here in the past, and of course it did for John Welch earlier this afternoon when he was involved in that incident with the Irish champion Dennis Biggestaff. There you can see the gap between Peter Harold and Peter Brown in third place. So Peter Harold, and there's the two-wheel drive turbo Cosworth-powered car of Jeremy Crush, the similar car of the Mark III Escort there of John Hay. But there comes John Welch coming away then. John Welch looking very, very comfortable up right now. And going into his last lap, remember the finals, one lap duration longer than the qualifying heats here at the very fast, dry Brantach circuit this afternoon where the conditions are absolutely superb. And as we come towards the end of the first part of our transmission for this screen sport uh, televised event here this afternoon, it looks as though John is going to be the man who's going to wind up the first part for us in fine style. Peter Harold, though, finding reliability from the four-wheel drive car. Uh, ever since they put the four-wheel drive transmission in, it's the engine that's been giving the troubles rather than the transmission. But John Welch it is, coming up, looking very, very comfortable up front. John Welch then up into the Druid's hairpin for the last time, completely unchallenged. And he will go then on to the back row of the A final for the Formula A category. He comes through Langley's Gap and away along the knife edge past the checker flag to take his first and perhaps most uh, important victory